okay hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to do a diy on how to do eyelash extensions on yourself at home it probably takes me about an, an average about 20 to 30 minutes to do because it's not that easy to do it on yourself but i'm going to just quickly do it on one eye to just show you guys what it looks like so if you're ready then please continue watching this video so first off I'm actually going to show you guys what um, I am using to do this um, you want to have like a variety of sizes some people want the thicker look or the longer look you have um, I have Ardell there's like some glue on this but just kind of ignore that but um, I have the Ardell um, double individuals these are the long I don't know if you can see that, but um, you can get these at Sally's. These are the medium, the Ardell ones, these are the medium, and they're double stacked. These are just for thicker, for like a thicker look, thicker, if you want thick, full volume. Just for that thicker look that you wanna go for, um, these are, you can get these at Target, Walmart, um, Sally's Beauty Supply. There's some other beauty supplies I think that have the Ardell ones. But these usually cost more than these per se. Um, you can get these at um, any beauty supply store. Usually they have them, um, just like the little home mom and pop beauty supply stores, you know, the ones that are not franchise owned. But there's different sizes of these too. These aren't as thick as the Ardell ones, but they have like the flare medium, the flare long, so I like to just vary, vary in my sizes um, with my eyelashes. You're going to also need a set of tweezers. Um, I like these that are angled better because I don't know, I just, I just like angled tweezers. But some tweezers and you're gonna need the glue, of course. Um, it is the Lash Tight Adhesive. Remember, Lash Tight Adhesive by Ardell is what you use for the eyelash extensions. They have a clear one and a black one. Now for me, I like to use on myself both. I like to alternate between eyelashes. Like every time I put on a lash, I use like the clear and then I go to the black. But my favorite one is probably the black. The black Lash Tight Adhesive. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because... Okay, these lashes usually last you between about three and three to four days, depending on how much glue you apply onto the lash. So if you use the clear one, after like the second day, your the lashes will start crusting, like the glue will start crusting. And it is very hard to cover that up. It looks like you have eye crust on your eye that's stuck that you can't get off. So I would prefer for you to use the black one if you had to choose one. But me personally, I, I like to use both even when I'm doing these on clients, when I'm doing their eyelashes as a free extra service. I like to use both. This is the back of one of the eyelashes and I put a dot of each. See how there's a, a black right there, a black dot and a, black, a clear dot of that one. A dot of each glue is drying. Then I go back and add that same amount. Just, just showing you guys the difference. Of, that it makes and I like to usually start with like my longer lashes on the outer corner I always start from the out and work my way inwards. So I'm going to take some of the longer ones. I'm going to take these flare These flare long ones. These are the thin I grab them to where they're like this See how the look the knot is at the top right there Okay, I want the knot to face me so when I'm applying the lashes the knots going to face me but I'm just going to put like a little dot on the knotted part of the lash. As you can see a little bit, I don't know if it's going to focus, going to focus, there we go. See there's a little bit, you can see a little bit of the black. That's the amount that you want every time you're doing uh, each lash. You want just a little dot right there, about the size of the same size as the knot. Take your lash. And you're going to place it at the outer corner. Let me make sure I can capture this. You're going to put it right under your lash line. So we're going to place it right under the lash line like that. And 
just like this. But you have to be very careful because you can get it in your eyes. Now I'm going to take another one of the same length. I like to put the longer ones at the end. So I'm going to take another one. Another long one. See? I'm going to dip it in the clear one this time because last time I used the black. So I'm going to like to alternate. And apply that one. And this is all you're going to do. That's all you really do is just continue the steps. Place it right there, keep my eyes open. This keeps it from, from burning, I think. Keeping your eyes open. Okay, now I'm gonna do the double size. Now, I've been alternating what I did with this eye. I did the two long ones at the end, then I did two mediums. I did the thick double stack mediums, and then I went back and did the um, regular medium ones. But with the, the double stack, I like to dip it in the black because I feel like the black is stronger and plus it won't it won't crust it up, you know? Apply it the same exact way. You're gonna just apply them like right next to each other every time. Like that, keep your eyes open. I do two longs and two mediums. You can do them however you want. You don't have to do two longs and two mediums like I am. And then after I did do that though, I just filled them in with whatever ones I think needed it. Like whatever needed more volume, I filled it in with the, the thick medium ones. Whatever needed more length, I filled them in with the longer ones. But then once I got here, I just put the regular single uh, medium ones when I got right here because it looked more natural that way you don't want thick right here or super long ones right here like long all the way through it's not gonna look natural remember eyelash extensions are supposed to be just an extension of your eyelashes not look like you're wearing fake eyelashes see underneath the eyelashes this is where I placed the, them right underneath I'm gonna finish this eye off camera and just continue the steps and then you'll see the final results so this is the final look. I put between 20 to 30 on each eye. If you guys were wondering. That's my preference. Um, you can go more, you can just stack them up. Whenever, wherever you see you need to fill more spaces in, you can go ahead and do that to each his own. And I also um, just wanted to say, I didn't mention earlier, the, there's the both glues have a strong fume smell. Um, sometimes when you're placing the lashes in your eyes, you may think, okay, my eyes might be burning right now, but it's really the fume, the smell that's actually getting in your eyes. Just kind of just blink, hold your eyes open, and then that feeling, that burning sensation, it's not really like excruciating pain, but that feeling will um, go away. Just a disclaimer out there. Um, the maintenance for these is just this, the first day you have them in, I would suggest you to not wash wherever your eyes are. Um, do not wash them, do not scrub, do not pull. If you're the type of person that likes to rub your eyes, this is not for you. Um, if you're the type of person that likes to pick at your eyelashes, this isn't for you either. Um, this lasts about three to four days, um, depending on how well you take care of them. And how, if you're a wild sleeper, and you like to like move your face and stuff in the pillow, you're probably gonna lose some. But, I mean, it's just simple. If you were to lose some, just put some, pop some right back in. It wouldn't even take as long as it took you to put all of them in the first day. But, um, yeah, this is just something quick and easy that I learned and I wanted to share with you guys because I know eyelash extensions and long eyelashes are in right now. And if you want to save money instead of paying one to $200 to go sit down for an hour to two hours to get the actual eyelash ex extensions. And you want to just try this to see how it was going to look and see if you liked it and save some money, then this is the video for you.